In time, you will know the tragic extent of my pee pee. Hello, welcome to Darkest Dungeon. Uh, before we really dive into things, I've been playing a lot of Darkest Dungeon in between episodes with the simple task of get turning this series, because I think we've covered a lot of the early game stuff. I think we've seen most of the classes, and if those of you who were in a similar position to me, uh, well, hopefully, what was it going with that sentence? That was terrible. You, you should know what's going on now, right? Uh, so what I've decided to do is get us into a position where we've got bosses to fight. And I'll sort of turn this series into a boss rush series, seeing if we can defeat the darkest dungeon. The biggest, strongest, hardest dungeon of them all. So I've been playing a lot, actually, since uh, yesterday's episode, like I said I would. I have trained up many people. We have some quite powerful individuals now. I've tried to avoid taking too many unnecessary risks, like longer missions... Uh, or, or weird party compositions with people who are named. As in, not the, not like four squad. So four squad I specifically put together for me to be able to use in between episodes. But the problem is I took too many named characters and not enough for me to have two rotations for off camera. So I ended up taking out a squad of some of the named characters. But tragically, that means, and you may have noticed, one person is missing from the roster. Nildre the Occultist got, got annihilated. And I'll be honest... It's your fault, people watching right now, and more specifically the people yesterday who screamed at me for not using weird reconstruction, calling me a, a big stinky fool, bullying me in Discord via the medium of memes, and telling me I'm an idiot who can't read because I didn't use weird reconstruction. Guess what, motherfucker? When I was playing as that guy, I thought, you know what, I'm going to use it because everybody, all the wise people in the comments say to use it. I used it, I got four zeros in a row, and then he got killed by a piggy. So this is your fault why he is dead and definitely not mine. So let's play some Darkest Dungeon. However, it's only bosses. So as you can see, I've played a shitload. Um, hello, I was born for this, says Hezron. We have the choice of the Wizened Hag, the Swine Prince, the Necromancer's Apprentice, or the Siren. All of which seem to have some pretty interesting... Oh, Martyr Seal, very rare. Uh, high damage at Death's Door. Oh, man, that sounds crazy. Super high damage at death's door. Uh, high, like, crazy high damage if you include the crit as well. 12% death blow resist and 15% max HP. Fuck, that sounds ridiculous. We've got that, or we've got, uh, Ancestor's Vintage. Very rare. Delayed Curse Craving. I don't know what any of those words mean. Uh, we've got this one here. Wrathful Bandana for the Arbalist. Lose healing skills, but gain a shitload of damage if in position 4... And higher chance to debuff, which is pretty good. And then we've got this one, the Pagan Talisman. 25% chance versus Fnatic and minus 10% stress is just good anyway. Now, on the subject of talismans, of course, because I've been playing a lot, I've picked up quite a few. Specifically, I found this one, uh, Aria Box. Very rare, minus 25 stress. I I found, like, an uh, another thing that seemed pretty good. Oh, this thing. Yeah, Ancestor's Scroll. So, uh, let's sort of buy rarity, because I'm pretty sure Ancestral is the highest level, right? Yeah. 25% healing skill, 25% stress skill, but 10% stress. So I assume this on, like, the Vestal or um, the Occultist, <laughs> appropriately enough, would be really, really good. So I think I'm, I'm, think I'm prepared, and I think I'm ready. Obviously, a lot of our characters have got a lot of changes happen to them, illnesses and positive and negative traits. We'll throw together a team to go and fight. What do you think about the Necromancer's Apprentice again, seeing as we tried to fight him before and I failed? Let's go fight him. Let's put together a team capable of fighting in the ruins. So let me go through everybody, see if we've got like any bonus in ruins. Uh, kind of work out the squad that I want to go for here. I think I'm going to do something like this. So let's go through the party here. So we've got uh, Pain Train has uh, some blade skill, which I quite like. I mean, all three of these characters have blade skill, right? So that's going to be quite effective, I think. Um, Cove Explorer, Hard Noggin. Mainly, I'm just putting Helion in for or Pain Train here for the... Flat damage. I mean, just an insane amount of damage, right? Then we've got Darth Molike, who's actually wearing a... Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get into the habit of unequipping everything when we get to town, because somebody told me they can gamble away their trinkets. So you've got the Flagellant Hood. 4% um, speed if HP below 40%. Seems pretty good. Uh, might, might be able to get in a rapid heal there. We've got uh, Eden. Let's go through everything, actually. So Bloodthirsty, Fascination with Injury Wounds and Torture, and then May Not Meditate While in Town is basically all we've got to worry about. Um, slightly higher stun resist are the only things that are really relevant here. Darth Maul, like, is all over the place. So we've got higher speed, higher dodge on the first round. Steady, uh, minus 10% stress. That replaced Warren Scrounger. Twilight Dreamer ignores stealth. 
Uh, 10% damage range skill. So I assume that's... Reign of Sorrows is melee? Really? Okay, well, that's not very good at all. Um, replaced Unyielding, which as far as I recall is very good. Uh, and then on... Oh, he's also got Unyielding. Yeah, 10% Death Blow Resist. So that with that artifact that we saw would be quite a cool combo. Um, stress Eater, so he gets extra stress if... Uh, sorry, extra food if at high stress, which isn't a big deal. Minus 10% damage if below 50 HP. It's a bit of a shame with a Flagellum, but that's all right. Guilty Conscience and Ligophobia. Um, so really nothing too relevant there for the Ruins. Daredevil, Last Gasp, Ruins Explorer, which obviously is why I've thrown him in here. And then Beast Slayer. We've got uh, Abul Ab Abluta, whatever. Obsessed with cleanliness. Um, not allowed to gamble. 5% stress when attack misses, which is a pretty big deal for Eden. Um, Captain Whiff version 2.0. And then Suffer's Intense Need to do specific actions. So we'll see how that goes. And we've got Kekvit as well, who, again, has no real negatives with the Ruins here. But I wanted a, f uh, a healer. Uh, we could throw in, like, um, one of the Plague Doctors. Where is our other Plague Doctor? Uh, is it only four squad? Really? Oh, I guess so. Okay, never mind then. Um, I feel like we need a healer for this, don't we? That's probably fine. Not the best squad. I would like some more. I had a crazy squad earlier, like the Leper and the Crusader. Um, those guys are... are were just killing everybody before within the first round. They were insane. So I really want to get those two onto a squad together again. Let's go for it. Necromancer's Apprentice. So I have been told that my, my kind of big mistake last time was obviously not camping. Um, but more importantly, people were saying that the boss is always the furthest point away from the starting room. Now, I explored everywhere. Um, and, and the boss room was the final room we went to. So we were at a massive disadvantage having done basically twice as many rooms as we needed to do. Now that I know that, we won't fall into that trap this time. I'm very confident this time around. To fight the first and probably easiest boss in the game. Um, I'm sure we'll be fine. I will probably end up over-preparing here. But it probably couldn't hurt, right? Um, let's take a few holy water too. Uh, I think I've got most of the curios probably ticked off too at this point. So that we know what item to use on them, if that makes sense. Uh, Lord, am I still no idea what you're supposed to do with it. I'll be honest, I haven't taken it on any of my runs. And I haven't had a problem with it either. So let's go, I guess. Is that decently prepared? I think we're probably all right. Three of each is kind of my go-to on these medium. It always seems to be just a, just around right. Chief among my early pursuits. Oh. I began in humility, but my ambition was limitless. You see, that's where you went wrong. Divined the prophetic import of something as unremarkable as a twitch in the leg of a dead rat. <laughs> well, you know, rats and twitch—they go hand in hand. <laughs> Thanks for the twelve-month sub. Right, let's go. Scouting ahead. That's what we like to see. We've got a room battle immediately. Thank you for that. Or just a battle immediately. So I assume the boss is there, right? So we can actually avoid one, two, three, four, five rooms here, which is quite nice. All right, let's do it then. Hello. Surprise. Oh, I'm going to destroy you all. I'm going to destroy you all. I am an expert at this game now. Um, I still want to focus on the guy at the back. Let's, let's keep stress down here. One damage and resist to the bleed. Oh, is it Skellington, you fool? How much have I played of this game? Actually, how much have I played of this game? Let me have a look here. Uh, just to give you guys an idea for how much I've played in between episodes. Uh, what is it called? The uh, Darkest Dungeon. 16 hours. Hey, to say that I had like an hour in it, only five days ago, that's not too terrible. I don't think. Uh, I want to kill you as soon as possible. Don't try and bleed the skeleton. We've been over this. I think a big whack on him. So he's dead next turn. Fine. I'll take it. Tempting Goblet. Oh, we don't want that to add up too much. I would rather take HP damage early on, I think. I would rather be them on on death store before we camp. That way we can kind of kind of deal with that. All right, seven out of fifteen, not terrible. Fine, that's okay. That's okay. It's only it's only minor. Don't panic quite yet. Give him a whack. This guy, I'm pretty sure we can... Oh, I didn't realize who's going next. My bad. I, I need to know, like, a... I need to know, like, a turn order. I need to know who's going next. Because I always... I always fuck it up. I know it's based on speed. Um, but... I can never quite remember. All right. Go for a stun. That'll do it. Fine. Now, you are going to shoot him dead, aren't you? Five out... Five... Look, as long as he hits, he's dead. Boom. Nice. I thought he was going before the other guy got to attack. So, that was my fault. Uh, I guess we'll... Heal? Sure. That's a bit of a waste not to, right? Okay. And now uh, you die. Excellent. 
I'm, you can see I'm an expert. I'm an expert now. Uh, watch this. I'm even going to bandage before we start moving. Huh? Yeah. That's right. I've learned to collect items when we need them. All right. We'll start heading north. Go, go, go. Uh, maybe torch just in case. Oh, it's an empty room. We're fine. Iron Maiden. So you are uh, those. Now we're looking for portraits. Um, I ended up actually trading some, some busts, I think it was, for portraits. Just because I was so sick of getting so few portraits for uh, trying to upgrade the bank. A lot of people have told me that the bank is pretty good. Actually, to be fair, in some ways a bleed character in... Oh no, bleed is really good against the necromancer, isn't it? A bleed character against all these fucking skeletons. That was going to be a right pain in the ass. Um, I guess we'll just start stacking up damage here. It's not going to be very much with this guy, unfortunately. We're just going to have to accept it. Um, let's go Iron Swan. No, let's focus on trying to knock you out first. Oh, fuck off, really? Well, hey, now we can go... I guess just wipe him out. That feels like a bit of a waste, but I mean, hey, never mind. Stun you. Good shit. All right. That's okay. It's not fantastic. Oh, I suppose it gives us a healing target. So let's look at the good thing here. You're fine. Nothing to worry about. Okay. Um, right. So let's focus on the Arbalest next. You die. Shit. <laughs> well, I mean, she wasn't going to hit 15 without a crit, let's be honest. They're going all in. I, I, hey, if they want to focus the stress all on one guy, I'm fine with that. That's okay, because when we camp, we just get them to all give the pep talk to one guy, right? Oh, that's nice. Good shit. Don't say confidence surges as the enemy crumbles unless confidence is actually fucking surging, sir. You always get my hope of. I always think, oh, they're going to lose a little bit of stress now. No, it just stresses me more. Right, keep him stunned. Oh, this stun resist was probably... Oh, no, we're fine. All right. Uh, you shoot... I don't want to try and kill you. What's the damage? 6 to 12. Yeah, go on. Or don't. <laughs> oh, no, he's going to start getting more stress now, isn't he? Shit. Uh, die. Back to the pit. Yeah, back to the pit. I'm just doing that for damage at this point. I should have really gone for healing, shouldn't I? All right, um, let's go. Is the healing even necessary? Oh, I guess, no, I, I don't want to. There's no point attacking those when, oh, have you got a, I don't know if she can target third position. I think she can hit the first two and the, the, the last one, right? Three to six damage, that's seven. It's not worth it. Let's just go for a heal. Fuck it. There you go. You're welcome. Right. Uh, you dazzle. A <laughs> critical dazzle. Nice. All right. And then you destroy. Good shit. Good shit. Well done. Okay. Restoration, I assume, continues on our outside of combat, right? Bloody hope it does. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. All right. I can't see if I've ever pulled off a restoration right at the end of combat like that before. Okay. This is going to be quite an easy boss fight if, if this is the case. We could just camp right before the boss fight. I'm not going to go and search through other rooms if we are expecting to fight a boss here. Oh, a portrait is nice. It seems so difficult to come by compared to all the others. I don't know if that's by design. Maybe they build the rarer buildings or something like that. Okay, empty. Holy shit, look at this. Oh my god, that was empty too. We might be able to get to the boss with only one more fight. In fact, we will be able to get to the boss with one more fight. Wow, this is ridiculous. Um, I'm not even sure it's worth camping. Fuck your books. No, thank you. All right. Talk about over-prepared, huh? That's the one you use holy water on it. I used a shovel on it before, and it made my people very sad. Ah, yeah, there we are. What do we get? Ooh. Oh, I forgot to put bloody trinkets on them. I was making a big song and dance about their trinkets, and then forgot to do it. You big fool. Um, I think I'll put the... Who's got the most health? I think I'll put that on the Vestal. Higher debuff? Go for the stun? Yeah, I guess that's okay. What a what a moron. Well, hey, challenge run. I, like I said, I'm just incredible at this game. So uh, I'm tempted to chuck out some torches here, to be honest with you, just to take that. I don't know if the torches were higher value, but I very much doubt they were. Hello. Oh, I can get some bleed going. Hey, there we go. Gabash. Nice. Four damage per round. Okay. Fucking hell, that does a lot of damage, doesn't it? Right. Okay, let's get a stun on you and just start bleeding you out. This is stun resist. Oh, 50% to be fair. Okay, that was a little little ambitious. Nine damage from the high movement. Six damage per turn on the bleed. Um, Just keep stacking the bleed. Fuck it. 
Eight damage per round. Okay, so he's dead next turn then. Oh, shit. That actually hits. God damn. Okay. Good dodge. Nice, nice, nice. I can't believe I forgot to do the trinkets. That's so funny. I'm sure so many people are screaming at me right now. All right. Good shit. Good shit. There we go. So he's dead. He's stunned. Focus everything on the... What do you think, folks? Everything on the guy at the back. Fuck you. We might as well stack some bleed up on those guys and start bringing them down. Nice, nice. That'll do. Uh, let's see if we can kill you. Three damage per round. So he's dead next. So let's get some bleed stacked on you next. Yeah, we're good. I don't think. I think we're done with this fight then. You're dead. You're dead. We'll get a turn before you can. Okay. Good shit. Oh, why did I attack him? <laughs> why did I attack him? What a fool. Just saw the opportunity, you know? Couldn't help myself. Oh, God. I could have avoided eight damage. What a fool. What an absolute moron. Um, yeah. Start healing up. He's probably just going to bleed out anyway, right? Oh, no. Only two damage per round. Um, go on. There you go. Well, never mind. We lost a little bit of damage, but we did heal some too. Uh, no, you were right. Thank you. Hot blow and driven into the fuck. That wasn't me. He's, he's a kleptomaniac. That wasn't me. All compulsive. Sorry. Okay. Here we go. Last fight before the boss. God, I hope this is the boss now. What's that? Oh, a secret door. I missed the secret door. You fool. There's the boss. Um, I want to go back to the secret door. I'm sorry. That's my, it's completely my, my bad. I don't know how I missed that. Maybe scouting brought it up after, after we went that way. Well, I suppose it gives us more opportunity to camp her. Because on the way back, we might get some more fights. I'm not entirely sure. The secret door was where I got those head trinkets. You know, the trinkets that I like to keep in my trinket pouch and do absolutely nothing with. So, oh yeah, we did get a fight. Okay, fair enough. Oh, not more of you fuckers. Well, on the plus side, I'm glad we didn't camp. Um, let's take out the guys at the back first. No, kill the kill big fatty. Kill, kill big chungus first, and then we'll worry about the guys at the back in a second. Was it stun 50%? Oh, fuck. Look, everything's 50-50. It either happens or it doesn't, okay? You can't look at things in terms of percentages in a game based on percentages. Otherwise, you're just going to let yourself down. You're just going to let yourself down. 8 damage per round. 18 health left. Oh, fuck. We need to get a little bit more damage in on that, don't we? All right. 10 damage. No. Oh, God, that was a lot. Fuck. This secret door better be fucking worth it. Uh, Yeah, heal up. You're fine. Don't panic. Blanket fire. Thank God we got that heal in. Okay, everybody's everybody's fine and dandy. Oh, shit. That was massively overkill. Well, never mind. 10 damage per round. Whoops. All right. I suppose it means that his corpse will disappear too, so we can get some good damage off of our Hellion. Stab my man. He's fine. Fuck, we definitely need to camp now, don't we? Um, okay, so he's dead next round, which is good. And then we could go for another rain. Oh, I suppose it's not necessary if they're going to come forward. That's fine. Boom. We're done. I hope. Five damage. Yeah, we're good. Uh, yeah, heal. Uh, let's go for a heal on you. Restoration. And he resisted the bleed. Good shit. Um, you can bleed out. Nah, just give him a whack. All right. Good shit. We done? Thank you. Oh, I, don't, I don't need your blood. Thank you. Well, I think I'm fine. This secret door better be worth it, because holy shit. We definitely need to camp as well. I think we'll camp maybe in the next room. What do you think? Oh, no, we can probably... I mean, unless we open the secret door and behind it is a monster, which, no, in this game is very possible. Secret room. Oh, here it is. Uh, hello? There's a locked compartment on the side of it. Skeleton key. Oh! oh, That's a lot of fucking gold. That's a lot of gold. Um, god damn, that is a lot of gold. Oh no, they take up three inventory slots each. Fuck. Well, get, get rid of you. Give me, give me that. No, I said get rid of you. Get out. And then, through 75. That's, well, obviously, we need quite a lot more. Oh, that's a lot of money. We have to survive now. No pressure. Good god. Just gotta be very careful we don't end up getting into another room battle. I wanna camp just before the boss, ideally. Um, just so that if there are any camping benefits, you know, like extra damage next round or something. Oh, fuck. There's two more battles that have turned up now. Fuck. Uh, all right. Camp here then. Fine. We'll be fine. All right. Have a big old feast. We've got four food left. Right. What can we do with you? Revel? Battle trance? Yeah, see, that's what I was hoping for. Four battles. I mean, that will take us up to, unless we get very, very unlucky and get another battle along here. Well, even if we do, we're still good, right? So let's go battle trance then. A three cost. That's fine. So as long as you're in the first position, you're good. So just don't get pushed back, basically. Remove disease is unnecessary. Um, you can hang yourself. That doesn't seem appropriate. 
Uh, unparalleled finesse. For the next four battles, we get dodge and speed. We lose melee skill damage, but a lot of his damage is coming from melee, realistically. We'd have to rely only on pistol shot for four battles. I don't like that. Um, wound care. Heal 15% of HP. Let's go on you. Um, 10% accuracy and 10, 10 dodge. I'm going to go on you. Let's buff the healing up a lot. And we can lose a bit of stress here. Okay. Sleepy, sleepy. We've got a little bit of food left too for emergency. Okay, we're good. For emergencies if necessary. Fucking secret room. I wish I'd have seen it the first time around. It might have been a complete game changer. Spiders I like to see. Hey, that's fine. Oh, these spiders are so dead. Oh, you are so dead. Um, kill. Three damage. Fuck. <laughs> oh, he's so shit. He's so bad. Um, dazzle a spider. Could have gotten a heal there, but we'll, I'll leave that till the end of the turn, I think. Um, kill that one. Okay, you're dead. That's fine. We've killed a spider. I'm very surprised that that's it, though, unfortunately. Um, kill that one. Fuck. I can't believe you. Do you not have bonus accuracy, too, you piece of shit? Plus 10 accuracy for four battles, and you can't even hit a goddamn big spider. Good lord. Oh, great. We're getting blighted now, too. Oh, no. Ooh, daddy. Don't do that. He's marked as well. Okay, you're dead. That's fine. We should be good. I assume the web is web and the spit is spit at the ones that have been webbed, right? That's probably a safe bet. Another abomination cleansed okay. No, don't bite him, please. For fuck's sake. I'm going to have to cure that blight pretty fucking soon. What's that? Two? Oh, it's only two damage. Um, Let's start getting some heals in now. Yes, thank you. Big fan of abatements. Uh, uh Let's go heal on you. I'm going to go pretty big on the heals and I think we'll just leave the Hellion to deal with the rest. Um, Shoot that spider. No. Yeah, no. Slab. Oh, for fuck's sake, sir. Come on. <laughs> okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. We resisted the blight. Let's go heal on Flagellum. Nice. Helion hits up. Now, this time, don't fuck up. Thank you. That's all I wanted the first time. One spider. We could try and juggle this spider for quite a while and try and just heal up where we can. Double restoration now is nice. Still resisting the bleed. Very good. Okay, watch out. Flagellant is taking more damage than he's healing at this stage. Really should use those bandages, huh? Okay. We're good. Um, more crap that I can't carry. Right. Um, let's use anti-venom on you and a couple of food, I think. Come on, no more battles. Just give me, give me this and then the boss and then we're good. And then with the food that we've got left, I can use on... I, again, next fight, I'm going to try and juggle as much as possible so that we can heal the flagellant as much as possible okay what's in the box what's in the box uh it's two deeds that i can't carry um i think i would trade 500 gold for a couple of deeds i think that's a fair it's a fair trade surprise yes nice okay um to be honest i i would normally focus down the cultist acolyte but in this situation where i think health is a bit more important than stress but given the moment we've got barely any stress i think i'm just going to focus on taking out the brawler, because I don't want to be bled anymore, if you don't mind. Got him. Okay, he's dead. You kill him. Oh, that was close. All right. Shit. Never mind. Okay, so we've only got to deal with the acolyte now, which will probably just do stress damage. That's fine. 15 stress. That's okay. Not a problem. You're unstunned. You're dead. So now we're just trying to juggle the acolyte, and if I'm training stress for HP in a situation where we've got less HP than stress, that seems fine to me. That seems acceptable. I didn't realize that attack lowers the light. That's kind of interesting. Um, so you heal you. No bleed. Oh. Well, that's not a big deal. Um, you stab Skellington. All right. Vestal, heal Flagellant. Flagellant gets a bandage. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I guess we could just... Oh, yes, Christ. <laughs> the one time I didn't want you to hit 23. Thanks. Uh, fuck you. Right, okay, here we go. So now it's just the boss fight, right? So we'll just go for a couple of that. Look, we're in a pretty good situation. We've got buffs across the board. We've got relatively low stress. Pretty fucking high health. Um, let's do something like that, too. Why not, huh? And here we are. Should have really torched up, shouldn't I? Never mind. Here we are. Right, okay. Um, bleed is only 20%. Get whacked. Wow, six damage. I think that's the most I've ever seen him do. Uh, Get whacked. 
I'm just going to keep stacking the bleed. That way, if he's pushed back, it really makes no difference. The flesh is willing, but the mind is spongy and bruised. Uh, I think it's not worth stunning him. I think just keep the heals high. Yeah? I'm not really sure. Open vein. I resisted the bl Oh, no, he didn't resist the bleed. Nine damage per turn. That's what I like to see. Um, go. Keep yourself healed. Okay, no more damage. He's basically half dead. Okay, careful there. Reanimated bones. How can such a thing exist? Now we'll start just piling on. I think we've just got to keep hitting him now, huh? At the rate we're going, we might be able to bleed him out before those zombies even get an attack. In. <laughs> keep going. Go with the bleed. Yes. 14 damage per round. Yes. Bleed. Ow, right in the face. Bleed. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, and then you heal him. You don't bleed. Sorry, that was maybe a little misleading. No bleed, no bleed for you. Oh, they got clawed. Okay. Um, now we can I mean just shoot him. Is he dead next turn? 17? 10 damage per round. One of the bleeds disappeared. One of the bleed stacks is gone, but that's okay. Bump in the night. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Very good. Uh, and now Iron Swan, take him out. He's dead. We've done it. He's actually dead. Uh, I guess we'll just deal up then. All right. Boom. With no living sinew to actuate them, will these walking bones finally fail? Oh, there we go. We've got a grave robber talisman that I can't equip and a fucking... Oh, Christ. Oh, well, we've got room for them, actually. Easy. Overcome the disloan insidious killer. No, sir. Did you not hear me when I said easy? We've done it. We've defeated the easiest boss in Darkest Dungeon. To be fair... I forgot all the trinkets, so it could have been a little easier. And I ignored the secret room. 11,000 gold. Fucking hell. Hey, that's pretty good. I'm fairly happy with that. What have you got for me? Nocturnal. You've got a tapeworm. Manslayer. 10% uh, prot and will not take part in the prayer activity after certain traumatic events. Really? The Vestal won't? And what's Nocturnal? Uh, minus two speed if the torch above 75. Oh, that's a bit shit. Severe fear of enclosed space. I don't entirely know what that means. I'm very good fighting humans. Hard skin is just good overall. So level three is the highest one then. Resolve XP. I have no idea. Well, there we go. Look at that. What a what a day. Turns out when you know a little bit more about what you're doing, it's okay. Oh, something I didn't point out too, sorry. Is that um I upgraded the sanitarium. Uh specifically because we I, I was going out and getting so many people with so many diseases and stress that I feel like we need to open things up. A big problem is, is the flagellants. We have three flagellants too. So, oh no, wait, no, no, no. I also upgraded, sorry, I'm getting confused here. I also upgraded the Abbey to, wait, did I not? I could have sworn I upgraded that. Never mind. You will forget all of that and we'll pretend this never happened, okay? In celebration of me being incredible, we're going to build a bank. <laughs> you know, because that's what you do. Uh, we can. Boom. Interest gained on save gold, 5% per week. Uh, so, save gold, what, is just that, really? Do I put money in the bank? Bank, you want some, do you want some money? Where, how do I, how do I put money in the bank? Is it, is it just this, this is our save gold? That's shit. 5% per week. That's going to be nothing. Everybody told me the bank was good. You're, you're fools. That was a terrible investment. What the fuck are you talking about? I thought I could, like, bank some gold and then, oh, you get a little bit more back. No. That's all it does. It just sits there. I just bought a PNG. I just bought a PNG for 15,000 gold. I should upgrade, I mean, anything out. I don't know what any of this shit is. I have no idea. No idea. I, un I understand the gameplay. I don't understand any of this stuff. I accidentally upgraded one of these. I clicked it by mistake. Um, yeah, I don't know what any of this stuff is. People saying upgrade class skills because they carry over between classes. I don't know how to do that. So I need to know what to spend my my stuff on. We've got 125 crests, uh, 30 bus, 74 deeds. I have no idea which is which is the best one to go for. People are saying stagecoach. Some people have said tavern. I have, I have no clue. So I'm going to leave that down to you guys to uh, elucidate me for what the right options are. I'm going to try and get us into a position where we're ready to fight the next boss in the ruins. 
75% progress. Just got to do one more. So we'll jump on that one. I believe it's just a stronger version of the Necromancer again, isn't it? Some veteran levels turning up here. Look, look at this. And then we've got the Siren to fight. We've got the Wizard Tag and the Swine Prince. So we are going to try and make this as boss rush as possible. We could also go to the Darkest Dungeon. Um, but I'll be honest. No. I think I'm all right. One boss down. Only another. Uh, wait, how do I find it again? Like this one? Only another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33 to go. I did say that we'd, we'd try and do all the bosses for this series, but that's going to take me like a month and a half. Hmm. Let me, let me see what, what let me let me see about that let me think about that one uh i'm not willing to commit to maybe an entire darkest dungeon playthrough because that will genuinely even if we do a boss a day which is probably not the right way to go about things we obviously need to do preparation work between and whatnot uh that's gonna be a massive time sink huh so we'll talk about talk more about that later on in the meantime thank you of course to the patrons for voting on the darkest dungeon series in the first place they thought they would punish me but in fact now i am a master and you've just simply opened my eyes to more games about uh, horrible violence. How dare you. Thank you to Chaos Undying, Mr. Moma, Runtime Overflow, Galupo Fruit Hag, Dante Mordecane, Shotgun Diplomacy, Thick Crack 62, Sideshow C, Voodoo Mumbo, Elite IMP, Echo Cakes, Kane, KQ the Magic Flying Velociraptor, and Tom Page, along with everyone else, of course, the executive producer Tears on Coffee for their support. Thank you, guys. Thank you to Coldest Flame, Nox Immortalis, Mount Cadalbe, Nyankat17, Matteo, Smurtworm, Distress Marana, Ann Aurora, Moondoggy, Roger Wilco, Major Mythical, and everybody else as well. Thank you guys for voting for this series. I'll leave it up to you guys whether or not we do do the entire run. Maybe we could do something else in the meantime. Um, you know, maybe do another series for a little bit, then come back to Darkest Dungeon, uh, and then kind of, kind of repeat. Or I could take it to, to Twitch if I ever get time. I'll leave it entirely in the hands of you guys, ultimately.